What's up everyone? So let's talk about One Piece today. So this is a question that has been asked for many years now, ever since One Piece pretty much came out like, uh, like in the late 90s. And it has been asked, you know, like all over the internet, on forums, on, uh, you know, places like Reddit, you know, like people always wondered, is Zoro's, Roro Noah Zoro's unique three sword style, is it possible? And has anyone in the history of ever used a three sword style? Well, the question has already been answered and yeah, yeah, you guys can look it up yourselves. See ya. Nah, I'm just kidding. Well, in short, um, after people went on the forums, they had, and it's not like just like any regular forums, you know, people have asked like um, on forums where um, people who like use weapons or collect weapons for like a hobby or, you know, like professionals, people that know what they're talking about um, have answered this question. And also it has been asked on martial art forums. So people who are into martial arts and, you know, professional people in, in that field, they have answered this question too. So it's just not like, you know, random people giving their opinion. And pretty much it is possible possible if you train as a young kid like start strengthening your jaw because here's a picture of Zoro you know how he uses like the style it's like one sword in each hand and then the third sword is in his mouth so if you strengthen your jaw from childhood up until adulthood where it's like strong enough to like hold a sword and you figure out like your own techniques that haven't been invented yet like a three sword style then yeah it's possible like you could like pretty much fight in that way but it'll take like a lot of work a lot of dedication and it could give you an advantage like if you get into like a real sword fight you know because that third sword you know is going to give you like an extra form of defense because no one's going to attack you from like the left side or like you know from the front like if you can if you if you learn the proper techniques which would take a lot of work since no one has ever used that style and that is an answer to one question no one in the history of ever has ever used a three sword style and there's many reasons for that i mean it is possible that people have tried but in the end no one does it because number one is impractical like there's no point to it like why would you you train using three swords when you could like spend time training you know like two swords or one sword like but pretty much like be putting all this time and effort into something that's not gonna really work too well you know you can make it work but it's not gonna work well and it just be like putting too much effort and energy into pretty much something that's pointless so it's not practical like it's better to spend time on something else also if someone does take all that time and effort to train up in the three sword style and figure out their techniques it won't be effective in a sword fight it'll be really easy easy to lose your balance and it'll be easy for someone to like knock that third sword out like at that point you know you will pretty much lose the sword fight and here's one thing that you don't really think about but even if you do strengthen your jaw it will also be possible for someone to like you know break your teeth pretty much like you have a, this heavy weapon in your mouth someone could take like one good hit at that third sword and boom your teeth game over and like what do you do at that point you know you've been training as a kid to strengthen your jaw figure out all these techniques you're finally an adult get into a sword fight and boom one hit to that third sword broken teeth game over you just kind of feel like what have i been doing with my life you know and now you're walking home with a set of broken teeth and yeah you won't be able to use that third sword anymore well unless you get some like replacement teeth like i don't know maybe so besides the fact that i could give you a set of broken teeth in the end the three sword style is not a really good style because there isn't much mobility not a lot of power and also something that many people pointed out is that people who use two sword styles like two katanas they risk a lot of mobility because those swords are really heavy so people don't even use the two sword style now the three sword style like if you look at a picture of Zoro that third sword is pointing out towards the left and his left hand with the second katana he won't be able to lift it up like beyond his shoulder or else he's gonna cut himself third sword is like kind of like blocking from his arm like to go up Boom. you know you know what i'm saying so a two sword style you're already risking movement in a three sword style you're going to be risking movement and you won't be able to move a lot i mean think about it like not many people think about that so that's what people on forums and you know online have been saying you know like yes it's possible but in the end it's just not worth it like you're gonna have to put in so much time and even if you do put in time like it's just gonna be wasting your time when you could be putting all that time into something else so a three sword style possible but not practical you lose mobility can't move your arms too much and you are risking breaking your teeth and you don't want to lose your teeth do you so the world's greatest swordsman in the history of ever he was from japan and his name was musashi minamoto and you know he was legendary you know look him up you know he he used a two sword style and like i already said two swords you can't really move around too much because they're heavy. Well, he used the katana.
katana in one hand, which is like the swords that uh, Zoro uses, and he used a wakizashi in the other hand, which is like a light, smaller sword. So he was using a two sword style, but he was using like a heavy sword and a light sword. And Zoro, in one piece, he uses three katanas, which are three heavy swords. So I mean, you know, take that however you want to take it, you know, just some information for you guys. So yeah, that's it for today's video. You know, I just kind of want to give you guys some insight on the question that has been asked many times all over the internet. It has already been answered and I'm pretty sure you guys already know like the answers to this. But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video about it because I haven't really seen any videos about this topic specifically. And yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, you know, drop a comment, let me know, drop a like. You know, let's conversate in the comment section. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.